church? Yes. No, sir. What did you interpret his body language to mean? He was going to attack me. That he was gonna, he was gonna assault me. He was gonna take my gun from me. And so, did you have concerns for your safety? Yes, sir. Did you have concerns for the safety of Officer Little? Yes, sir. At this point, how close to the suspect? How close was the suspect to you? Three to five feet. Was he in arm's reach of you? Yes, sir. Was he in arm's reach of your weapon? Yeah. How far away was he from the weapon? Arm's reach. No, sir. In your opinion, should you have? No, sir. Why not? I didn't. I did not know what the suspect had on him. I didn't know if he had anything in his hands. And here I was. Suspect matches a description of a B and E suspect. Late at night, early morning hours. And he just ran through his taser, which at the time I thought was had, had worked. I thought the taser had struck and made contact. And I had absolutely no idea if he had a weapon on him or not. Do you remember, I mean, at what point did you deploy your service weapon? When he got uh, within arm's reach, three to five feet from me, I deployed my service weapon. And do you remember how many shots you initially fired? I, I thought that it was between four and six. Were you able to stay on your feet? No, sir. Why not? At some point, we made physical contact and I uh, ended up on my back. Did you, did you still keep a hold of your service weapon? Yes, sir, I did. When you fell, was the suspect touching you? Yes, sir. He was on the lower half of my body. His shoulder was about by my waist. When you fell, did you bite your lip? No, sir. There wasn't any. It was very dark in the ditch. How were you positioned in the ditch? At first I was on my back, but I was able to use my left arm to prop myself up and post myself up. Then I was on my buttocks. If I can stand up. You can come around to the jerk.
party to match that. So from the position that you were that you were standing originally until you backpedaled, that was 20 feet. Yes, sir. And did you? And when you ended up in the ditch, um, tell the jury, show, show the jury how you were initially. And which hand was your service weapon? My right hand. And would your hand tell me approximately where the suspect was? Right by my knees. It was still aggressive towards me. When you say, when you say aggressive towards you, what was he doing? He was attacking me, trying to come up my pet's legs, trying to get to my gun. And what were you doing? What, did you, what were you able to do? I was able to post up on my left arm, and I was trying to shrink away. And what is shrinking? You use your hips to try to create distance and someone's on top of you. Thank you. I'm showing you what I have marked as, has already been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 31. Uh, does that drawing accurately depict the, how, the, how the suspect was coming at you on the night? Yes, sir, it does. Officer this obviously is a moving picture, is that right? And was he ever, was the suspect ever still? No, sir. Did he continue to advance on you? Yes, sir. What did the suspect do next? He continued. He continued aggressing on me. No matter what I did, he wouldn't stop. I wasn't sure how many rounds I had fired. None of them affected him in any, any way. I didn't think my gun was working. And then finally, with the last round, I was able to get out from under him and, and get, get up to my knees. And he was still trying to advance towards me. I kept my gun drawn on him and ordered him not to move. I could not, I commanded him not to move. I couldn't see his hands at this point. Where his hands? Under him. And show the, show, the, show the jury how loudly you were yelling and what you were yelling after you were able to get out from underneath him. Don't move! Don't move! Did you fire your weapon anymore once you were able to get free? No, sir, I did not. While you were on the ground, did the suspects make, make any movements towards you? At what point? What? At the point when you're hit the ground, and I believe you testified he was crawling up here. Yes, sir. He was still aggressing towards me, trying to get... aggressing towards you, what do you mean? Like, swimming at me, swinging his arms. At one point, while I was on the ground, he struck me in the face, on the right side of my cheek. I'm not sure, to, sure at what point that was, but he was doing everything he could to get to where my gun was at. And... Did you feel anything? I felt a jerk on my gun, jerk on my right arm, and then the strike in the face as well. And based on everything the testifies here and told this jury, what did you believe at that time? I 
thought I was going to die. Why? Because nothing I would do would stop him. Was the suspect bigger than you physically? Yes. Was he stronger than you physically? Yes. Did the suspect ever take control of your weapon? No. And you were holding your weapon in your right hand? Yes, sir. And what were you doing with your left? Trying to get away. What was the reason that you continued to fire your weapon? Because he wouldn't stop. He kept trying to get to my gun. idea if he was armed or not. No, sir. Did you hang up the suspect? No, sir. Was he ever run in the opposite direction? No, sir. Did you ever shoot him in the back? No, sir. Once the suspect was Suspects, what happened after you yelled, don't move, don't move, with your gun trained on the suspect? He was still advancing towards me, and then I believe Officer Parks arrived on scene, and he asked an officer to check on me, I'm not sure who it was, and he, he went and checked on the suspect while I, while I um, held him at gunpoint. And once you... Did you hang up the suspect? No, sir, I did not. So once you got out from underneath the suspect, you had your gun trained on him. Did you ever touch him? No, sir. Was medical? Yes, sir. Describe your physical condition after the altercation with the suspect. My head hurt. The right side of my mouth hurt inside and out. I was bleeding on the outside of my lip and the inside of my mouth. My left arm had scrapes on it. Did you show your injury to that? I did. Medic came and checked on me. When you were on the ground with the suspect, did the gun recoil and get you in the mouth? No, sir. Absolutely not. No, sir. Absolutely not. showing you what we have listed as Defendant's Exhibit 89. Can you tell me what that is? Yes, sir. It's a picture of the right side of my face inside my mouth. And was that picture taken on September 14th, 2013? Yes, sir, but much later in the morning. How much later? Several hours. That was mid-morning. Defendant's Exhibit 90. Can you tell the jury what that is? That's a close-up photo of the inside of my mouth. And do you know approximately what time that was taken? 
it would have been the, about the same as the other several hours into the morning, several hours later in mid, into the mid-morning. Defense Exhibit 91, can you tell the jury what that is? That's also another close-up with a ruler on the side of my mouth, taken approximately the same time. Defense Exhibit 92, can you tell me what that is? This is a photo of my left arm and my left forearm. And was that taken several hours afterwards? Yes, sir, it was. And this Exhibit 93, can you tell the court and the jury what that is? This is a close-up photo of just on the inside of my mouth, around the back side of my lips. Officer Carrick, is this showing you what we have marked as defendants 89? And you said this was taken several hours later? Yes, sir, that's correct. And this is the right side of your lower lip? Yes, sir. Showing you what I have marked as defendants 90. Is that a close up of your lower lip? Yes, sir, it is. It is defendants exhibit 92. Can you tell me what that is? Yes, sir. That's a photo of my left forearm. And Officer Carey, can you tell me prior to going on your shift and prior to the altercation with the suspect, did you have that wound in your mouth? No, sir, I did not. Did you have a cut on your lip? No, sir, I did not. Was your lip bleeding? No, sir, it was not. Did you have a canker sore, ulcer, anything like that inside of your mouth? No, sir, I did not. Prior to your altercation with the suspect on September the 14th of 2013, did you have this rash on your arm? No, sir, I did not. Prior to your altercation with the suspect, did you have this cut on the inside of your upper lip? No, sir, I did not. No, sir, I did not. Were you immediately separated? Yes, sir. Did you go to a hospital? No, sir, I did not. After the after you were treated by the medic, did you voluntarily give a statement to the uh, homicide detective with the child Edward Police Department? Yes, sir, I did. And they were in, they were investigating Yes, sir, that is correct. Did you volunteer to give that statement? Yes, sir, I did. Could you have waited? Yes, sir, I could have. Why didn't you wait? I didn't feel like I had did anything wrong. Do you know that it reported? Yes, sir, it was. At the time, how many shots did you believe that you fired? Four to six. Do you know now how many shots you fired? Yes, sir, I do. After you gave your statement to the detectives, did they collect <clears> or 
uniform as evidence? Yes, sir, they did. Uh, what did they take from you? They took my, my service weapon, my magazines, all three magazines, the live rounds that I had in them. They took my pants, my shirt, and my boots. Moving your hips from left to right and trying to scoot back with a with one of your feet at the same time, trying to create distance. Mr. Carrick, I'm showing you what I have with, as Defense 93. Can you tell me what that is? Yes, sir. That is my duty belt. And so it's 94. Show what I have as Defense 94. Yes, sir. That's my duty belt. Defense 95. That's a photo of me the morning after the altercation. Defendant 96. Say left side photo of me. Same time in the morning. Defendant 97. This is a picture of the back side of me. Defendant Exhibit 98. This is a close-up photo of the backside of me. And all of these pictures were during the early morning hours of September 14, 2013. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. Several hours after the incident. This is a close-up photo of the backside of me. And that's what I showed you was Defendant 99. Defendant 100. Another close up photo of the back of me on the left side. Minutes 101. 
another close-up photo of the back of me. And it's 102. Also a close-up photo of the back of me. And it's 103. This is a close-up photo of the back of me of my upper back. Defendants 104. It's a close-up photo of my arm. And Defendants 105. Close-up photo of my shoulders. In defendants 94 through 105 at Abbott. Officer, I'm showing you what I have marked as Defendants 92. Is this your duty belt? Yes, sir, it is. And to your knowledge, did you have any stains on your duty belt prior to your shift? I did not have anything on my duty belt prior to my shift. Did you have any? Did you have anything prior to your prior to your altercation with the suspect? No, sir, I did not. I'm showing you where it's listed as Defendants 97. Can you tell me where this picture was taken? This picture was taken at the Law Enforcement Center just outside of one of the interview rooms. And, Officer Carrick, can you describe what that is on your back? That is dirt. And what about there? That's a dirt mud combination with a little bit of grass. Prior to starting your shift on September 13, 2014, did you have any dirt or mud on the back of your uniform? No, sir, I did not. And was this a result of your altercation with the suspect? Yes, sir, it was. Officer Carrick, I'm showing you what I have listed as Defendants Exhibit 98. Do you know what that is in your button? That is grass. Do you have any grass on your pants before your altercation with the suspect on September 14, 2013? No, sir, I did not. Officer Carrick, I'm showing you what I have. Defendants 104. Did you have any markings on your elbow? No, sir, I did not. Or up on your forearm prior to your prior to your altercation with the suspect? No, sir, I did not.
All rise. Honest group of us can exist to nine periods of all one. All parties can speak to four minutes. On you? Yes, sir. What did the suspect do next? He continued, he continued aggressing on me. No matter what I did, he wouldn't stop. I wasn't sure how many rounds I had fired. None of them affected him in any, any way. I didn't think my gun was working. And then finally, with the last round, I was able to get out from under him and, and get, get up to my knees. And he was still trying to advance towards me. I kept my gun drawn on him and ordered him not to move. I could not, I commanded him not to move. I couldn't see his hands at this point under him. And show the, show, the, show the jury how loudly you were yelling and what you were yelling after you were able to get out from underneath him. Don't move! Don't move! Did you fire your weapon anymore once you were able to get free? No, sir, I did not. While you were on the ground, did the suspects make, make any movements towards you? At what point? Why? At the point when you hit the ground, and I believe you testified he was crawling up here. Yes, sir. He was still aggressing towards me, trying to get aggressive towards you. Like was swimming at me, swinging his arms. At one point, while I was on the ground, he struck me in the face on the right side of my cheek. I'm not sure sure at what point that was, but he was doing everything he could to get to where my gun was at. And did you feel anything? Felt the jerk on my gun, jerk on my right arm, and then the strike in the face as well. I'm showing you what I have marked as, it's already been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 31. Uh, does that drawing accurately depict the, how, the, how the suspect was coming at you on the night? Yes, sir, it does. This obviously is a moving picture, is that right? 
And was he ever, was the suspect ever still? No, sir. Did he continue to advance? Based on everything that the testifies here and told this jury, what did you believe at that time? I thought I was going to die. Why? Because nothing I would do would stop him. Was the suspect bigger than you physically? Yes. Was he stronger than you physically? <clears throat> yes. Did the suspect ever take control of your weapon? No. And you were holding your weapon in your right hand? Yes, sir. And what were you doing with your left? Trying to get away. What was the reason that you continued to fire your weapon? Because he wouldn't stop. He kept trying to get to my gun. Sir. And even at that point, did you know whether or not he was armed? I had no idea if he was armed or not. No, sir. Did you handcuff the suspect? No, sir. Was he ever run in the opposite direction? No, sir. Did you ever shoot him in the back? No, sir. He was still advancing towards me, and then I believe Officer Parks arrived on scene, and he asked an officer to check on me. I'm not sure who it was, and he, he went and checked on the suspect while I, while I um, held him at gunpoint. And once you, did you hang up the suspect? No, sir, I did not. So once you got out? Late at night, early morning hours. And he just ran through his taser, which at the time I thought was had, had worked. I thought the taser had struck and made contact. And I had absolutely no idea if he had a weapon on him or not. Do you remember, I mean, at what point did you deploy your service weapon? When he got uh, within arm's reach, three to five feet from me, I deployed my service weapon. And do you remember how many shots you initially fired? I, I thought that it was between four and six. Were you able to stay on your feet? No, sir. Why not? At some point, we made physical contact and I uh, ended up on my back. Did you, did you still keep a hold of your service weapon? Yes, sir, I did. When you fell, was the suspect touching you? Yes, sir. He was on the lower half of my body. His shoulder was about by my waist. When you fell, did you bite your lip? No, sir. There wasn't any. It was very dark in the ditch. How were you positioned in the ditch? At first I was on my back, but I was able to use my left arm to prop myself up and post myself up. Then I was on my buttocks. If I can have you stand up. You can come around to the jury.
Yes, sir. What did you interpret his body language to mean? He was going to attack me. He was gonna he was gonna assault me, he was gonna take my gun from me. And so did you have concerns for your safety? Yes, sir. Did you have concerns for the safety of Officer Little? Yes, sir. At this point, how close to the suspect, how close was the suspect to you when you saw him make that movement towards his waistband? Three to five feet. Was he in arm's reach of you? Yes, sir. Was he in arm's reach of your weapon? Yeah. How far away was he from the weapon? Arm's reach. No, sir. In your opinion, should you have? No, sir. Why not? I didn't. I did not know what the suspect had on him. I didn't know if he had anything in his hands. And here I was. Suspect matches a description of a B and E suspect.